major. But instead of de-escalation, Israeli armed forces are now preparing for a possible ground offensive in the wake of a barrage of rockets fired from Gaza. Since Monday, Israel has hit hundreds of Hamas targets as part of Operation Protective Edge. Dozens of Palestinians, including women and children, have died, and hundreds more have been injured since the airstrikes began, a fact not lost on the Israeli government, which claims Hamas has been using civilians as human shields. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas has condemned the Israeli operation, calling it a war against the Palestinian people. CCTV's Roy Ruttenberg is monitoring the developments from Tel Aviv, clearly a city on edge. Roy, what's the situation there? Indeed, this morning uh, at around 10.45 a.m., many uh, locals here, this is the weekend, were woken up by the sound of sirens. A number of rockets uh, being uh, shot here in the central part of Israel, uh, intercepted by Israel's a so-called defense shield, uh, Iron Dome here. Many people again uh, on Friday praising the Iron Dome for preventing a number, of the, a number of those rockets. And while people are on edge, you do see them running to uh, various uh, shelters. Uh, many people are relieved that Iron Dome is here, and it's given them uh, perhaps some say uh, an overconfident uh, uh, relaxation, a feeling of overconfidence. In other cities, of course, further south, those rockets, shorter-range rockets, uh, causing some damage. We know that one fell on a gas station, causing a large explosion. Uh, explosion there, and there was a serious casualty uh, following a, a, a shrapnel landing on a gas station, which injured eight people, one of them serious. So far, no casualties, uh, deaths reported on the Israeli side, but as you've mentioned, people here very much on edge as this situation escalates. Roy, was one of those uh, rockets fired from northern Lebanon into Israel. What can you tell us about that? Indeed, uh, quite surprising uh, on Friday morning, uh, reports that two rockets landed from Lebanon in northern Israel. No reports of casualties there. Israel, of course, saying that they were fired by militant groups in Lebanon. The Lebanese military saying they will investigate that Israel has an ongoing conflict that's often resulted in war with uh, the uh, group Hezbollah, which is separate, we should note, for our viewers from Hamas, which is operating in the West Bank and quite strongly in Gaza. But oftentimes, these groups express solidarity for one another. Hamas is said to be getting supplies from Iran, uh, Hez Hezbollah having very clear, strong associations with both Bashar Assad in Syria and, of course, the Iranian uh, uh, leadership. Uh, so there is a suspicion here that there may be some connection, but so far no responsibility claimed in those uh, rockets from the north. Of course, if Israel uh, decides to escalate this into a northern and southern uh, conflict, that would, of course, be two fronts that the country would have to handle. The uh, reports on television calling uh, the situation a nation under fire. What are you hearing about the possibility of an all-out ground offensive by Israeli troops? So far, it's just been terminology. Everybody is expecting some sort of ground operation. Perhaps uh, that expectation is coming quite strongly from Palestinians in Gaza. We heard uh, the Palestinian uh, uh, president, Mahmoud Abbas, who's in the West Bank, saying that he expects an imminent Israeli ground uh, invasion. And we heard uh, talks from, uh, from the military commanders here in Israel saying that they are prepared to do anything that they need to do to finish off Hamas in Gaza. Uh, this has been an ongoing escalation that's been up and down, a familiar uh, scene to some of us who have been following uh, these events for years. And as far as the Israeli leadership wants to see, they want to see the situation finished. That, of course, uh, could pull them in by ground. Israel saying that their objectives from the sky are becoming more and more difficult. Hamas, uh, Gaza Strip, of course, a very po densely populated area. Uh, some saying that Hamas is tactically trying to lure Israel into a ground invasion uh, in order to uh, to inflict uh, more damages, of course, on the Israeli military. Roy, as you mentioned, this is not the first time Israel has launched airstrikes against Hamas. What is different this time around? Indeed, we had that, uh, that uh, war in 2008 and 9, and we had, of course, November of 2012 that lasted for eight days. In 2012, that was airstrikes, and Israel said uh, that gave it long enough to set back and weaken Hamas operatives and installations in Gaza. 180 people uh, were killed in that operation, uh, 180 Palestinians in Gaza. If you look back a few years before that, the three-week offensive that also saw ground troops going in, that death toll in Gaza, 1,400. So, of course, uh, this would definitely be an escalation if ground troops uh, went in. It would definitely be an escalation, a rise in the, do in, in the death toll. 
but uh, it is a, an opportunity Israel believes with the ground troops to more tactically go after uh, the people that they're searching for. Again, many of them, Israel believes in hiding. Palestinians say it is a much more, uh, 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 Palestinians believe that it will result naturally in a higher death toll and of course that the casualty count will be much higher as a result of this kind of ground confrontation. All right, thank you so much, Roy Ruttenberg in Tel Aviv.